plumbing is something we give little thought to today, but it actually hasn't been around all that long. It may seem hard to believe, but chamber pots and outhouses were still common well into the 20th century. It wasn't until 1845, with the installation of the first sanitary sewers, that it began to take off. With an outlet for wastewater to flow to, indoor plumbing took a step closer to reality. Then in 1874, an unknown plumber solved the problem of venting. He suggested balancing the air pressure in the system with outside atmospheric pressure to prevent a breach of the water seal in the traps. Your home's plumbing system is simple. It's made up of an incoming water supply, outgoing drainage pipes, and fixtures and appliances. Water is carried under pressure from the water main to our fixtures and appliances. The incoming water pipe is divided at the hot water heater into hot and cold water systems. Though it isn't the most glamorous part of a house, the drain, waste, and vent system is one of the most crucial. This system collects wastewater and delivers it to the sewer or septic system. Near each of the fixtures, a vent pipe exhausts sewer gases out through the roof and provides air pressure so waste can flow freely. At each fixture, the drains contain a U or S-shaped bend called a sewer trap. Wastewater is then carried by gravity away into larger drain pipes, which carry the flow downward into the municipal sewers. For more information, check out our website at HowSmartsTV.com.